Now, some industry players in Kumasi say the reduction in benchmark values of imports remains a setback to the growth of the local industry. They want government to take a second look at the policy while ensuring the taxation regime does not affect the revenue of businesses in the country. Here's a report by Benjamin Adu. Reduction of benchmark value of import duties at the country's ports is aimed at reforming the import regime. But some business leaders in Kumasi say the move could be counterproductive to the country's industrialization drive. Chairperson of the Association of Ghana Industries for Ashanti and Bono Regions, Jemfua Owusue Chao, says the wholesale reduction of benchmark values for imports is a setback to the growth of the local business. She wants government to take a second look at the impact of the policy on industry and jobs. The government should have concentrated on products that we have minimal comparative disadvantage. Some of the products we don't have the capacity to produce them and for that matter we need to import some to cushion what we produce here but should have looked at the products which are principally manufactured here and some imported into the country but if the local manufacturers can actually satisfy a minimal market then it wasn't necessary for the government to reduce the benchmark values for those particular products. The executive secretary of the Ashanti Business Owners Association, Charles Kusia Pia Kubi, requested government to develop new approaches to help local businesses. Ashanti Regional Chairman of the Poultry Farmers Association, Dr. Boris Beidu, spoke about subsidies for the poultry industry. Once this sector is subsidized, it will go far to help. When you go to America, when you go to Europe, you know, the AU, they are, they, are, they are helping their farmers, and so it is making them productive. And at the end of the day, all, all that it matters is for us to be competitive.